we advocated yeah. early on was the whole don't waste your life on Netflix. I mean, in, mm. in oh, reverse, yes. in reverse, I was pushing you to watch a bit of Netflix and get some comedy in your yeah. life for a for an early on thing for us. But it's that yeah. balance because you have to have downtime. There is a point where you're like, I'm just going to. And people people will say to me, we, you had the conversation. I'm like, oh, I've not really watched much. You're like, have you seen that? I'm like, oh, I've seen that. What about blah, blah, blah? Oh, I've seen that. Blah, blah, blah. Have you seen that? But again, it's maximizing my time because I'm still doing my job. I'm still doing my writing my book at the moment. I still decorated the house. Um, I did it at the weekend. We did a bit of gardening and stuff and ate up the weekend on that. So there's a lot of things going on. But then I also, you know, an hour, two hours, whatever it is for that relaxed time as well. You need you need to get a balance. And it's it's not about not wasting your life on Netflix. It's just making sure that that isn't the only thing you do with your downtime and you balance it all out. But again, it's 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 this yeah. is why I think it's almost not natural. It's so the easiest thing to do is just sit there and veg out. But if you did that all the time, that's also that doesn't hit any of those hobby markers mm-hmm. whatsoever. It's not creative. It's not keeping you fit. It's not making you money. There's no fulfillment from that bit whatsoever. But that's not to say even if you halved your time and invested in one hobby, which again will take time to get off the ground and the discipline, and you go through the bits where you're you know you're learning something new or you're trying to build something or you hit that wall exercising where you've got to push through and I just you've you've got to have that hard work bit about you I think to make it work. <laughs> <laughs>